remember about a year ago. Um, I had introduced you guys to my sister, but she had a little defect on her face. I mean, we look exactly alike, you know, down to a T. We're basically, you know, uh, identical twins. A lot of people can obviously tell the difference between us. And that is because, this is because she has a little defect on her face. And, you know, it's been very hard for her you know, to be accepted. This past year, she's been making a lot of progress. If you guys have forgotten, she has a penis on her face. So let's see what's been going on with her. So hey, penis nose girl, what's been going on this past year? Hey everyone, it's me. Um, I know that I haven't been around in like a year, but you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm still alive. And um, you know, a lot has happened this past year. Um. Well, I found out why I have um, a penis nose to begin with. Um, I'm sorry that I have to hold my nose like this. You know, my my penis, my nose, penis, whatever you like to call it, my penis nose, it has a boner like 24-7. Um, so I have to like kind of hold it because um, when, when my uh, penis nose gets a boner, it gets a little bit heavy. And um, it, feel, it gives me like kind of like migraines. So when I when I hold it like this, um, it feels a whole lot better. Um, anyway, so we found out why I was born with a penis nose. Anyway, um, I guess it all started when my mom and dad were making me, and you know, <laughs> doing the deed. Um, they, uh, my dad's penis. Well, as you know, when you have sex, well, I'm sure you all know how it works. Um, my dad's penis got stuck up my mom and, um, they didn't know how to get it out and they were too lazy to go to the doctor. Um, so, th so they just kind of like left my dad's penis in my mom and, um, she became pregnant with me and over the course of the pregnancy, the penis, um, just, you know, from sitting down and, you know, stuff like that, uh, my dad's penis, you know, just kind of slid up into my mom's cervix and it eventually attached to where my nose was supposed to be. Um, and so I never developed a normal nose. It was just, you know, my dad's penis. That's my nose. And, you know, ever since preschool and kindergarten, you know, I, I've been made fun of. And, you know, it, it, is, it is hard and humiliating to tell people that, um... <laughs> That you have to go, that you're obviously a girl, but you have to go to the men's bathroom because you do have a penis, but it's on your face, you know? Like, I always have to use the urinal, and I pee out of my nose, and people look at me, and they go, what the fuck? But, you know, I've learned to ignore them. It's, it's hard, and it's, it's, but, you know, I figure that I'm getting my story out there, and, um... You know, I, I want to be an inspiration to people that I am beautiful no matter what. And that um, I've accepted who I am. That I am always going to have this dick on my face. And, um, you know, my dad, he, you know, he's suffered too because he has no penis now. Um, and it's hard for him to see his own penis on his own daughter's face. Um, you know, it used to be his. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but we've gone to a lot of therapy, and um, we it's been wonderful. The therapy helps so much. You know, like, I, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> when I start crying, um, there's some, out of the tip of my penis nose, um, it, it, I cry, come. <laughs> On the tip of my penis nose, I cry jizz. You know, that's those are my boogers. That's my jizz. <laughs> okay, but anyways, um, you know, this is, it's been tough, you know. Um, knowing that, you know, I probably will never get married because, you know, I don't think that any man, you know, wants a girl with a dick on her face, you know. Um... Yeah, so it's kind of hard to know that I'm going to be alone forever. But you know what? 
I don't need a man to tell me that I'm beautiful. I know I'm beautiful. And I have my twin sister Brandy telling me that I'm beautiful every day. And you know, she's all I've got. She's the only one that's never made fun of me. And she's the only one that's always been by my side. And same with my parents. You know, no one's ever wanted to be friends with me because... You know, you can always see, you know, when I'm turned on, because it's on my face. Wow, penis nose girl, that was so touching. Um, I'm so glad that you have accepted yourself for who you are and, um, you know, that you are different. And, you know, that's okay to be different. And um, even though you don't have any friends, you have me, girl. And, you know, I think you're awesome. I think you're all that and a bag of potato chips. I, in fact, if you don't have a date to prom, I will take you to prom. Oh, Brandy, that is so nice of you. Um, but, you know, I just want to make things clear that, um, you'll, you will never be as beautiful as me. I mean, I have a penis for a nose. And, you know, I, th I just think that makes me beautiful. And even if no one else can accept it, you know, I've accepted it. Um, and I just, but I just want you to know that I do appreciate you and I do think that you're really awesome. You are the best sister ever. And yes, I would love to take you to prom. I think we will win best prom couple, wouldn't we? Sure, yeah. Um... That's great. I honestly cannot wait to take you to your prom. You know, I think it'll be a very, very good experience for you. Thanks, sis. You really rock. I love you so much. Okay, but this is going to be a really odd question. Um, <clears throat> but like, how do you do it? You know, intercourse. How do you do it? I mean, you, you don't, you have like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? How do you do it? Well, recently, um, I had this, I had this lesbian friend and she wanted to get pregnant. Um, but you know, she didn't really want to be with a guy, so to speak. And, um, so I volunteered to use my nose to get her pregnant. And so, you know, I, I did the deed and I got her pregnant. Oh God, that, that's so weird. Wow. Oh my God. That's so weird.